Hi there, I am a vocal coach in Denver, Colorado. My name is Adrienne Osborne, and I'd like to talk to you about what you can do if you have to sing while you're sick. Before I even start, I want to say I'm not a medical doctor, I'm not a laryngologist, I'm not an ENT, I'm not even a speech therapist. I am an accredited vocal coach through the International Voice Teachers of Mix. And what I'm about to share with you um, is advice based on a combination of personal experience and generally accepted knowledge among voice coaches and some best guesses. So if you have to sing while sick, if something happens to you or your voice, don't hold me accountable. You are accountable. You're responsible for your own voice. See a doctor if you have some serious concerns. That said, this is uh, there's a few pieces of advice for when you can't reasonably get out of a gig, like say you sing in a cover band and it's too late to sub out either you or the entire band for the gig and you just have to do it. So imagine this gig is like you're driving on a long, lonely highway with no gas stations until the very end of the gig. You have to get from here to there. Normally, you aren't worried about getting from here to there because you have a gas efficient vehicle, i.e. a great, uh, well-functioning voice, and you have a full tank of gas. But when you, when you sing while sick, you have a less efficient vehicle and you have less gas to begin with. So you have to really conserve. So we think about everything, every choice we make in this gig is with respect to saving gas so you can get to the end. We're not going to worry about you know, racing like a motor car. We're not going to worry about showing off. We just need to make sure that we don't get stranded in the middle of the show. So every time you use your vocal cords, they are slapping together. And we can say that there's a finite number of this, of, of slaps that your vocal cords are going to be prepared to execute during this gig. And you don't know how many that is, but it's less than normal. So when you slap them hard or thick, you use more. It's like flooring the gas. When you when you like slap them together thin or light, then it's like coasting. So the first thing I'm going to recommend is you want to just take the hardest 20% out of this gig. So if you think about like getting from here to the end of the gig is 100% of the gig, 20% of the notes you sing are going to put 80% of the wear and tear on your voice. They're going to be the high notes that you work hard for normally or they're going to be the loudest songs or the songs that ride your break that you find difficult see if you can swap those songs out or have someone else in your band sing them or modify melodies if you have to it some it might sometimes be easier to go higher not lower because you might have trouble in your mid-range do not lean hard into your voice that's like flooring that gas pedal i'm going to just kind of sing lighter in general uh, before the gig, do some singing to find out if you have any missing notes so you can plan around them. Because when we're sick, usually, well, not usually, uh, often we lose a note or two in the mid range or the high range. And so you want to know which part of your voice is missing, if any. If it's high notes, then you might want to modify some melodies down. Like maybe you have some killer high note that is the, the, you know, the best note that everybody does the woo at, you know, at your shows. But maybe tonight's not the night for that and because your note is not there. So rather than pushing to get it in a way that you don't normally sing, just let's sing a different note, sing a fourth down or a third down or a fifth down, whatever makes sense, um, just for tonight. On the other hand, if you have some middle notes missing, it might be easier to sing a harmony above your, your normal melody. Like maybe it's a chorus that, that just rides an area of your voice that's missing today. Can you sing higher? Sometimes you'll have those notes, but you won't have the middle ones. Next piece of advice is to sing thinner and brighter, if you can. It's hard if you're congested, I'll give you that. But if you can sing thinner and brighter, it will take some weight off your vocal cords. So try to do that. And what I mean by that is, mm, like instead of singing, ah, sing, a ah, little bit, ah, like cat scratch. Ah. Um, next piece of advice, don't talk between your sets. If you are getting tight, things are falling apart then do some tiny tiny little cool downs like 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 some ooze ooh, 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 slide around like that ee, 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 that kind of thing or some uh, 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 uh. basically 
If your vocal cords are, are already inflamed because you're sick and you're coughing or you have post-nasal drip or congestion, then when you sing, those cords are going to get even more inflamed. And as they get inflamed, it's difficult for them to meet cleanly. And doing tiny little exercises helps your cords uh, uh, find their thin edge again, which is what you need for that brightness, which helps your voice cut through. And it's uh, it, helps, it just helps you make sound, <laughs> basically. Next piece of advice stay hydrated that's said um and don't drink mainly because it can cloud your judgment and you need to really be on your toes to think about all these other things i'm talking about i don't have anything against taking a drink if you're performing uh in a bar band in a bar situation if that is okay with the whole situation and if you know your limits um i drinking one drink is not going to instantly dehydrate you but it will change your judgment a little bit. And on a night like this, when you're singing while well, sick and you're making melody changes and you're making technique changes, don't throw a drink into the mix. You, you just need all your brain power for this kind of show. All right, two more pieces of advice. This one is oregano oil. Now I'm not much of a, oh, what am I gonna say? I'm a very technical person. I used to be a software developer. I want. I want advice that has uh, scientific backing and I want factual information in general. And so I, I kind of poo poo a lot of the holistic, uh, especially homeopathic remedies. Absurd in my opinion. Anyway, oregano oil, I have seen it work. And I, I know I have a, a good vocal coach friend of mine who really believes in it. So it tastes atrocious, but put a few drops of it in a bottle of water or a glass of water and uh, it is, it's a great kind of instant fix. It'll, it'll do you some good. I don't know how, <laughs> but I've seen it work. And then my final piece of advice, number 10, is get some total vocal rest before the gig until you do a, like a, like a light 10 minute warm up right beforehand. But total vocal rest means no whispering, no sound, no nothing. You can't even do this. That's not rest. And this isn't rest either. Rest is... All right, so if you can get eight hours, 12 hours, 24 hours of total vocal rest before the gig, that really will do you some good. Um, that, that's a pretty effective solution. Um, of course, I recommended in, uh, earlier in this video that you should figure out if you have any missing notes in your range. So try to do that as soon as you can. Um, and then again, you know, after you've had vocal rest, see if those notes have filled in. Um, but yeah, vocal rest will definitely do you some good. All right, so if you have to sing tomorrow night or tonight or, or the night after and you are sick, I feel for you. Um, take it easy. You can really screw up your voice if you sing while sick. So get out of it if you can reasonably and if you can't, use these tips and put the ego aside, save your voice because speaking from personal experience, um, my voice was, was kind of rough for about a year after I went in and sang a four hour gig while sick. Lesson learned learn from me. All right. I'll see you guys next week. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications if you want. If you're not, I don't care. I don't care. All right. See ya.